I've been to Dungeness in Kent once before in my life, which is odd because I only live about 55 miles from it. But it is way out of the way. It's kind of right on the edge where it's, it's kind of not on the way to anything. And I went there with a friend of mine who um, my wife had paid for. She's a professional photographer. She had paid for um, a, a one-on-one photography session. And I chose Dungeness as the location. So I think I've got a couple of photos from that, which I'll kind of throw up as I'm talking you through this. But what I thought I'd do now is um, go down there and um, there's a number of iconic shots of knackered old barns and um, there's a ship which is kind of, you know, far enough inland that um, it looks, looks odd. It is a funny place to be sure. So my intention is to go down at sunrise, um, really early sunrise, um, and to try and get something atmospheric, that's what I'm after there some atmospheric shots which aren't necessarily obviously of Dungeness. I can't quite remember what the lay of the land is. I know that there's a, a lighthouse there and that the other stuff that I've talked about and there are a few people that live there. Um, so that's that's the idea for this. Atmospheric Dungeness Kent. <laughs> Fair to say that I'm struggling. I knew it was going to be sunny today and I knew it was going to start out quite cloudy but I was hoping that the uh, sun would make the cloud a bit more interesting than it actually is. It's just a bit kind of, it's not flat, it's just, it's a bit pastely. But I'm sort of liking these two ships, these boats behind me. So I quite like the composition of one being a bit closer to me, to the camera, than the other, so... Oh, I'm going to get my camera out and uh, try that one. I'm going to try and get this boat and a bit of the sky in. The obvious thing is to use all the wreckage, but there's a lot of metal detritus around, and they either go, they in some senses they go together, but in other senses they don't. So you've got to think about what's in the shot and what's not in the shot. So for that shot just then, I was trying to get this boat. And there's, a, there's another boat just over here, and then there's the lighthouse that was in between them. So boat, boat, lighthouse. But just to the right is the power station, and I didn't want that in the shot. I 
feel a bit better. I quite like the isolation of this boat over here. Asking to be in close up because the the flaking paint looks really nice. strange combination of working and disused so we've got old I assume this is like a winch system to get boats in and out of the water but obviously you know it hasn't been used for a long time by the look of the rust but a lot of the boats there's sort of maybe 10 boats on this side of me it's about 100 meters between me and the shoreline and uh, there's a bank um, and at the top of the bank there's maybe 10 boats and they all look new, they all look like they're in operation, so I hope I'm not waking anyone up. But um, they, they don't look big enough for people to be sleeping in them. But they certainly look new enough and in good enough nick for them to be used for fishing, which makes sense because Dungeness Fish Bar is... that building, I think. Like this place would make more sense geographically if you could see it from the sky with a drone but you're fundamentally not allowed to use a, a drone here which is absolutely fine I haven't got a problem with that because on the other hand I think if you could see it all from the sky you'd know it a bit too well one of the peculiar and interesting things about Dungeness is that it feels so random and to bookmark it in such a way um, as to be able to po uh, point out where everything is on a drone shot. I think that would take away its, uh, its aura. Incidentally, can you hear the power station? I can. Um, I'm going to switch over to the 14mm uh, wide-angle Samyang lens, which uh, is all manual. And I'm going to do a bit of a circuit. My car's just over there. It's not that far. I'm just going to walk around that way. Try and get some wide, sort of atmospheric. I'm going to try and make them look a bit bulbous. Shots of these boats over here. So, hopefully, for the last time, I'm going to take my gloves off. Signs of light. Looks like there's a boat coming into shore. To be honest, this would probably be better in the lens that I've just taken off, but I'm not going to put it back on. There's this plank lying on the ground, and it's sort of a leading line to one of the little boats that's just over there. So I'm going to see if we can get this. Wide angle is not the right lens for that. I think these are going to be my final two subjects. I've got one, one boat here. I've got another one just out of just out of shot. I'll show you that in a second.
really like the quality that the wide angle lens gives that. So it's quite a rounded, quite a rounded boat. But when you go down low from the side with a wide angle lens, the uh, bow becomes quite pointy. I'm going to call it a day for today. Partly because I still don't feel that great. Um, at least the taste of vomit's gone, so that's good. I'm going to try and be a lot more consistent this year with my uh, with my releases. I think I'm going to go for a Thursday release pattern, but I'll see what happens. But before I go, leave a comment below. How do you think I did? My aim was to get some atmospheric shots of Dungeness in Kent. Uh, so I'm here. I've got some shots. Are they atmospheric? If you give me a like, that'd be great. Give me a dislike if you want. Uh, subscribe. That'd be wonderful. Uh, and uh, press the little bell thing so you, uh, you get notified when I upload another uh, video from wherever that might be. Thanks a lot.